This video is going to cover accessing Photoshop from the Chromebook and also being able to copy and paste images into Photoshop while you're using the program. So here we go. I'm gonna open Photoshop from our virtual classroom, choose our school account, open Photoshop, know that this will take about two minutes or so. I just want to remind everybody that if you are not having success, if you're not seeing the screen, if you're seeing an error, it is because you do not have parental consent yet to access the program. So if that is the case, then you're going to want to make sure that you go to back to our modules, um, go down into our first module, the welcome back module and down about halfway is the Adobe CC parental consent form. You can also find that linked in with all of our slides, our different unit slides. So I can show you really quickly why we're still waiting, how to access that. So for example, in our current unit, um, if you dig through the slides, I think in this unit, I've put it on page 14, it'll be kind of in different places throughout the slide units. But here again are the links to access as well as links, uh, directions, and the parent consent form. All right, looks like we're good to go now to continue. So it'll kind of look like it's about to open and everything's fine, but it will stop and kind of ask for a couple of password items. So here we're gonna say continue with Google. It will open kind of a separate tab and I usually just choose use recommend, uh, recommended security settings. You can okay that. What will happen is um, this random Microsoft window will open. You don't need that at all. So you can actually just go ahead and close that and it will take you back to the tab where you actually need to sign in. Here is where you will put in your school email address. mcpsmd.net. You will then put in your password. And the most important thing is that you choose the enterprise ID, the company or school account. And it says you're all set. There might be an additional window that pops up. I'm going to go ahead and close this for a second. Um, you can see it here. It's saying that I'm, I've kind of logged in a couple times today. So it, it's not, it says you've reached your device activation limit. Just know that you can simply sign out of one and it will allow you to access it again. So go ahead and continue now. And we should finally be in to Photoshop. So um, the other thing that is an issue right now that they are working on fixing is when you are working within the, um, the program, so right now I'm just creating a new document. When we're working within the program, we can't copy and paste. Um, so for instance, if I go to Google really quickly and search a cat, and I go to my images and I find this cute little cat right here, if I want to copy this and if I go back in here and try to paste it, so I could go to edit See how paste is not an option. Even if I control V, it's not working. And that's because it, it can't recognize anything outside of its own window, essentially. So what we'll need to do is open a browser window within this page. So I don't even need this open anymore. So the only way to do this right now, and they're working on fixing this, but right now, if you go to help and just say Photoshop help, what will happen is you will get a browser window to pop up within the program. And from here, I can go and I can say, um, the first thing I'll probably want to do is actually do kind of like a Google search to open up Google. I just am not a huge fan of Bing images. And then from here, I can type in cats, choose images, and there is the same cat that I was wanting. I can go then to copy. And now I can go back to Photoshop and I can edit, paste, or control V. And 